Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the full move out and the finished office of SB. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I shared part one last week, I think. So if you missed it, I will link it up in the cards for you. Um, and I actually just realized, I think I was wearing the same sweatshirt in part one, but it's been quite a few days. So anyway, I got some comments and also some DMs and stuff from you guys asking some questions. So I figured quickly I would just kind of address them. So one, <laughs> I did not get my money back from everything that I put into the office. It was just like a really not great situation. I had a 14 month lease and I did move out a couple of months early, but um, yeah, it's unfortunately because it was just that lease they can do anything they want and they don't have to let me re-sign it. So yeah, I didn't get anything back from it. I was planning on staying there, but it is what it is. And unfortunately <laughs> it's a lesson learned. And um, that landlord has been like not great to deal with since then. So I'm happy to be out of that situation now. It definitely left a bad taste in my mouth, but I'm hoping that something even better will be on the horizon for SB. Although we're currently operating in my house, I it actually hasn't been that bad. Truly, I thought it was going to be worse than it is, but it's been um, about a month now and we're just chugging along. So Jenna, my assistant, still comes here. She comes here once a week and we get stuff done and then otherwise I'm here by myself and yeah, it's actually kind of nice just because of Theo's schedule, trying to keep him on track that I'm here. So if he's napping, I can get stuff done like right now. He's currently napping and I'm able to sit in the office, package orders, film stuff, and yeah. Um, and I wanted to also mention one more thing before I get into organizing and all of that. Um, I started a TikTok account for SB. So if you're interested in following us there, I will link it down below. I've been posting like quite a few times, even multiple times per day. So yeah, there's lots of content and I'm actually going to be sharing quite a lot of business content on that account too. So if you're interested in that, like behind the scenes, new products, um, just random stuff and then business stuff, that'll be linked below. Okay, let's pick up where we left off. I had forgotten my camera, so I couldn't show actually packing things up, but this is our little shipping station, a full, full box of jewelry, and then empty clothing rack. Hi guys. Whoa! Is that fun, Bums? Alright, we're looking empty in here. Mom called you empty. Once I got everything back to my house, that office was a complete disaster. And then the following day, my parents came by the office so that we could take apart our big work table. And of course, Theo was there because Theo's always there. And then my parents just helped us get some of the other stuff posted online and then back to my house and into storage. I had to time lapse this and this is not even a fraction of the footage that I have, but I spent hours and hours reorganizing and unpacking all of the jewelry. Here is an overview of what the office looks like. So we have our plant stand is back here from the other office, but I swapped out. This is a real plant. It's my ZZ plant. And then these two are the faux plants that were from the office. We have the same two desks that are just pushed together so that Jenna and I can sit here and collaborate and work together. It just makes such a really large space. And since we don't have the shipping table anymore, it's nice that we have this area to be able to ship out products really easily. On this side is usually where I sit and I just have a lot of my random stuff in the drawers. This desk is kind of like the SB desk. So we have all of our shipping supplies here, just our labels and the printer, our package inserts, the stickers, and then we have some necklace or some bracelets just from doing some reels and stuff that I had pulled out. This is amazing. So it just plugs in once and then it gives you a bunch of plugs on every side. It has USB and three prong plugs. So we use it to plug everything in. 
Highly recommend, I will link it below. And then these drawers are all packaging stuff. So we have just the scale and measuring tape. This is our branded tissue. This is our plain tissue. These are the poly mailers for clothing. And these are the clear poly mailers that the clothing originally goes into. And then under the desk, we have this of the gold mailers for the jewelry. On this wall, these are the two shelves that were from the office before. And it's really nice because if we're pulling things to ship out, we can just turn around in that chair. So I added these two drawer units to the shelves since I got them here. And I also added all of these clear bins. These are amazing. I love that they stack. We can grab things out of them even when they're stacked up, which is really nice so we can see everything. And then all of these clear bins are... A lot of them are empty right now because we're actually changing up a lot of our inventory. We're gonna do a big change in the next month or so. Up on the top, we just have more bubble mailers and then a bunch of our supplies and stuff is up there. And then these shelves just have, again, just supplies. This is all jewelry making supplies. This is all packaging. These are all of our jewelry boards and then extra poly mailers. And then this is our tech drawer. So it has extension cords, tripods, camera stuff, lighting. Back in this corner, you can barely see it. We just have our shirt folding board. And then we have this tile for backgrounds. And then we have our large photo background right here, rolled up and then the tripod is in that bag. And then lastly on this wall, this honestly is usually in the middle of the room so that Theo can jump on it if he wants to. But we have our clothing rack with just some extra inventory and stuff underneath, some few pieces of our clothing. And then I had this in my office before, not in the SB office. I had it here and it was laying long ways. So now I tipped it upright. I've used this a million times before. It has always come in so handy. So I just have, again, just extra stuff here and room to grow. So I've got an empty bin. I've got some camera equipment, some random mailers, some discontinued jewelry, another thing of bubble mailers, and then some organizational bins that I need to see if I need them or not. This is our ac acrylic calendar. I haven't decided if I'm going to hang it up in here or not. And then on top, we just have obviously a printer, a plant, and then some products that will be coming out soon. And then in the corner, we have our two lights and then our neon SB sign. That sign I want to hang up either here or here. I'm undecided. If you weren't around when we got the office, this is what it looked like the day that I got the keys. As you can see, it's very bold. And this is the front main area. And then walking back, there is a few closets and this little countertop area, which we had a little mini fridge. And then of course the bathroom. And here is just a little highlight of what we did. So we took out the half wall, my parents helped with that. And then Adam spent days fixing the floor. It was such a big job. We didn't realize the floor wasn't under there. And then he seriously did like the most amazing job ever. And then we had to repair where the half wall was on the wall. So I had to fill it and mud it a million times over. And then we spent days painting and we had to paint all of the trim, the other half wall, all of the walls, the bathroom. And it was like two coats of primer. And then I think two coats of paint on the trim and on the walls. And then my mom and I spent an entire day putting up this one wall of wallpaper. It was such a huge pain. And here's the last look at the office. Walking in, I just love the way that it turned out. The color of the walls is just beautiful. The space just looks so much brighter and cleaner. I love the white trim. I love the neutral color. I just love everything about it. And then this is what the bathroom looked like. I feel like the wallpaper turned out really, really cute. And I like the color that we ended up painting the bathroom, but that is the end of the chapter. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely happy with how this turned out. I mean, looking at the before and afters of the office space, we improved that space so much. It's not even funny. So definitely disappointed that we had to move. And I also did end up selling some of the furniture that I bought for there because we don't have space for it here. I don't know if it'll work in a space that we have in the future. So I ended up selling it secondhand just on Facebook Marketplace. So 
that was kind of a loss of money. The whole the whole situation was a loss of money, but lesson learned. That chapter is closed. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.